Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of March general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Sagittarius, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Me and My Girlfriend by Tupac. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, in the song he says, what did he say? Lost in the whirlwind. Lost in the whirlwind, 96, Bonnie and Clyde, me and my girlfriend doing 95 when we ride. Something like that. Um, whatever the case, I'm just tapped into the energy of Bonnie and Clyde. When you think about Bonnie and Clyde, they was like, look, if you rocking, I'm rolling. And that's the energy that I'm getting. So you could be feeling like this in a relationship now, currently, if you're dealing with someone like this, this person is the Bonnie to your Clyde or vice versa. Or if you're completely single, you're getting ready to meet somebody who is like, they're going to be all about you or you're going to be, you guys going to be all about each other. That's it. And that's all like, this is going to be something solid. Um, you're going to trust this person with your life. You're going to trust this person just in general is what I'm getting here for you guys today. Say it's someone rising and Venus individuals. Okay. So currently at the bottom of the deck, you have, uh, you have the high priestess. This is interesting because the high priestess is one half of a divine counterpart. That's Bonnie and Clyde all day and tomorrow. And I skipped over this, but Tupac was a Gemini. So for some of y'all, it could be a Gemini, sun, moon, rising, or a Venus individual. If you are completely single, you could be meeting somebody in Gemini season, which is June, um, May, June time frame. Okay. Now back to this. Somebody's name could be Bonnie, Belinda. Somebody's nickname could be BB. I'm getting also. I got Jerome, Jacob, Jeremy, Jabari, Jamar. Getting a couple of those names also. You have the first, middle, last initial, J B O U M H W P R or S. Again, first, middle, last initial of you or this person. If you are completely single, again, I'm going to say you can meet this person who has those, um, those initials in their name. Now, going back to what I was talking about with this high priestess, we have two sets of divine counterparts in tarot, the emperor and the empress, and then the high priestess and the hair fine. You already have one. Somebody's on their way to you if you are completely single. And this is going to be somebody that you're going to be with forever. It's already been written. It's fading and destined for you to be with this person. This person could have a very heightened spiritual awareness. Like this person could be very intuitive. You and this person could have a very telepathic connection that binds you all. Because she's the like most intuitive in the whole entire deck here, right? So I definitely feel like you guys will have a very strong connection with this person here. Like it's already it's already been written in the books. Look, literally. Okay, so we're going to go through the deck until we get you guys Major Arcana, which is the um, Temperance card. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And I just seen your card currently at the bottom of the deck. Are you kidding me? You guys just had this person's divine counterpart. Look here. You have somebody coming into your life if you are single. And if you are with someone now, and I feel like if this would be like newer relationships, this looks like this is your person. This is the Bonnie to your cloud or whatever your preference is. Like as far as dating, I'm telling you, this is your person. This is your person. Wow. Okay. So let's let's get into it because you know I'm interested. Okay. So again, we want the Tempest card because that's your major arcana. And we want the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Temperance card is what we are looking for. Okay, there you go. Wow. Wow. I hold this major arcana. So this is faded and destined. I can't make this up. You guys are looking at this. This is your card. And you, you guys are floating right in each other's direction. They are coming in quickly. Holy shit. Bonnie and Clyde always makes me think about a getaway car. Like, this could be like you guys moving away from... I'm getting like relocated for some of you all. Also, for some of you all, this person may be at a distance. Like you may meet this person on social media, like some type of dating app or something like that. You know what I'm getting? I've never, ever said this before, but I'm getting, um, wow. Yeah, this person could live in a different location because this makes me think about land, you know, like actual locations. This makes me also think about the, the uh, foundation of a building or a place, okay? So I'm definitely getting like traveling towards you or something like that. If you're single, you can meet this person also in Taurus season. I'm getting that as well. But, wow, oh my God. As soon as I said Taurus, I looked over. You got the hair if on Taurus. Wow. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys meet this person in Taurus season. Um, I never say this, but I just heard um, Facebook dating. 
Now, I will say, I, I don't, I'm not on any dating apps or anything like that, but I will say if it was something like that, I probably, if I was into that, I would probably look into that because here's the thing with Facebook dating. I think a lot of people, and I just found this out talking to a, mute, a friend of mine, and I think a lot of people feel like, okay, they don't want their mutual followers or people that they're friends with on Facebook to see that they're on a dating app or something like that. But my friend was telling me that, no, the people that you are actually friends with, they won't see you. Like they won't see your profile because they are friends, right? So you give it a bit of privacy, but you will see people who are mutual friends of that person. And for me, if I was going to do something like that, I would like that because see me, I'm a Gemini, I'm inquisitive. I would literally reach out to whoever is like close friends like that we follow that I know for a fact this person has a good sense of discernment and I know that they're a trustworthy person. And I would question like, hey, you do you know so-and-so and so-and-so? Because with one thing with... Online dating is like people can always portray themselves as something that they're not. And you will want to have a heads up to know that this person ain't batshit crazy or something like that. And it's helpful to know that someone that you know may know this person. You get what I'm saying? Because I've never said, any, and I'm not promoting anything. You guys see, I don't have any sponsorship from, from that app or anything like that. I'm just hearing it. I don't know why I'm hearing it, but I'm hearing like something like Facebook dating because it may feel more safe because you have a higher probability of seeing who all this person is connected with because that can help you just you know discern whether or not you want to connect with this person too because like say for instance they have a bunch of bs followers like people who like drama in groups and negative groups and things like that that people have on facebook or it could even show that somebody that you used to date is friends with that person and it could kind of help you weed out potentials I'm, I'm getting something specific like that something would help you weed out like negative you know connections but I, I really want you guys to really look at this energy. Like, this is magnificent. You have nothing but major arcana. So this is this is big, big shit popping, if you will, Sagittarius. Okay? So let's see. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Swords moving forward. Again, I get something with Fate and Destiny. You have the Chariot, which is Cancer. Cancer season starts in June. You got the Six of Swords. So this person could be a June Cancer or a June Gemini. Because I did say Tupac was a Gemini. This could be Gemini also. And he was, in fact, the June Gemini, okay? Nine of Cups, wow. Wish fulfillment, getting everything that you want and more. You don't even see it coming yet. So for some of you guys, you have not met this person yet. For others, you, if you have, it's going to the next level. You guys may be talking about marriage and long-term commitment here. It's going to the next level, the world card. Travel distance for movement, okay? So Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio energy. But also the world card, this person, like I said, could be at a distance from you. Okay, and I'll always give with this card the world, the world wide web. I'm telling you something about dating online. Somebody could be completely against online dating. And again, I'm not here to push it. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up intuitively because look here, here's another divine counterpart. And I can't make this up. You already had the high priestess and the hair fine. Now you got the dog on emperor. I'm telling you, you, your person may be online some damn <laughs> they they could be setting up a profile right now as we speak where well, you may need to again i'm not promoting anything because i don't you know i don't push that i'm just telling you what i'm picking up energetically and it does look like they're telling you it's time for you to go in that direction you have the three of swords in reverse some of you guys could be healing from some type of heartbreak you know i feel like in reverse is good because that means you're coming out of that yeah because it looks like she's flowing from out of the water the water's your emotions and feelings right so she's coming out of some type of situation where there was some deep, you know, some deep wounding, some deep, some deep pain, moving out of that, going on to the next level, allowing yourself to be open for that. That's going to clarify for the high priestess and the chariot for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Okay. Yeah. The page of swords in reverse and then the sun in reverse, Leo energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So... Sword up is just sword down is no pages to I spy lurkers, someone keeping tabs. But I'm also going to say, I'm going to say this again. Some of you guys are blocking a potential connection. Because if you see, she's going in this direction, he's going in this direction. His body is facing her, but he's looking elsewhere. Some of you guys may be saying no to like social media and things like that. Because, you know, swords, communication, mental, but it's also technology. So some of you guys could be saying like, hell no, I'm never going to do something like that. That's not for me. You may be blocking out a connection here. Bottom of the deck, yeah. You got to release something that you have a strong hold on. Because the four of pentacles is holding on for dear life. In reverse, it's like, pentacles are traditional value. So you need to release it because you may feel like, well, I just want to meet somebody 
physically, in person, organically. And that's fine. But for some of you all, there definitely is a connection, you know, associated with you meeting someone in a untraditional way. The justice card. Okay. Justice is in reverse. The opposite is justice and justice. I feel like you may be doing an injustice to yourself if you don't give it a chance. I'm just being real with you. Again, I'm always going to have to put it out here. Use discernment and, and really just think about, you know, if something doesn't feel like right. Like if this person keeps talking to you, if they ask you to send them money and all types of weird stuff, don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all don't do that. Y'all know better. Y'all said this. Y'all know better. But I'm just saying like use discernment. Because, you know, there are a lot of people, there's scammers all over the world, okay? But use your sense of discernment. Don't move forward with something that just doesn't feel right. But you are meant to move forward with some type of connection here. It's faded and destined. That's going to clarify for the chariot. That flew out real quick. That's your king. That's your queen. She's your queen to be. I'm literally hearing a song from Coming to America. Um, Fire sign Leo Sash Aries. Wow. And see, I feel like this is this is your person, man. And I want you to notice in the background on her chair, you got the two lions. Almost like they're doing a dance together, but they're facing each other. Look, you getting ready to go towards, or somebody's coming towards you. You have a divine counterpart that's coming towards you. For every king, there is a queen, vice versa, same sex, however it resonates. Whatever the case, it's like this person is meant to have somebody who's sitting on their side, sitting beside them. That's exactly what's happening here. But you're needing to be open to the possibilities. That's what I'm getting. You guys are needing to be open to the possibilities. And if you feel like, no, absolutely not, look, and that's as soon as I said that you got <laughs> the major icon of the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy, and I just said Tupac was a Gemini. Some of you guys could be saying like, hell no, I will never date a Gemini. Cool. Also, you know, this is a choice. The lovers is also a choice. You got it in reverse. I'm going to show you this. I feel like some of you guys are needing to allow yourself to be open to a new love or else you're going to block out your happily ever after. That's happily ever after with a soulmate. You're going to block that out if you decide like, no, I'm not I'm not interested in that. Again, I'm not forcing and pushing anyone to go on to online dating or whatever, but I'm, I'm really getting it very strongly. I keep getting it. And you guys, if you, especially if you've been here for a while and you watch my channel, I never promote stuff like that. I'm not even promoting it now. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up. So I, I really feel like you need to Allow yourself to be open to different opportunities because you you really are going to be blocking something that's faded and that's and I feel like you're meant to connect with specific people. Like just like right now, if you're watching my channel, you are drawn to me for a reason. There's thousands of readers on YouTube, but you're connecting with me. And this is a way of social connection. You get what I'm saying? So not all connections are negative. So I'm just going to tell you, the universe is telling you to be open to it because your person is on the other line of that app, of, of a specific app. And I just threw out that one app. That was just an example, but I'm being drawn to that. I'm not even, I have a Facebook account, but I'm never on it. I'm, I'm just have it typically for like the birthdays and things like that. So again, I'm not promoting them, but I will be telling you, for some of you all, it may be a, a very strong tool to connect with someone that you are fated and, and destined to be connected with. And I just heard destiny. Somebody's name could be destiny. Or destiny is at hand. Okay, so Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.